Hi everyone, it's Eden. Um, I've been thinking about making this video for a while now, and I would like to share with all of you guys um, what I experienced on February 14th, 2018. Um, so, I go to Stoneman Douglas High School, and... Um, I went to English class fourth period and I was sitting with my really good friend Alyssa Aladef, rest in peace, and um, we were writing an essay for the FSA Rights, which is a um, English essay um, test that determines, you know, where we stand academically, and um, me and my friend Alyssa are sitting there. And, um, 40 minutes later, we start hearing gunshots from the hallway, and we hear people screaming, and, you know, I kind of look at Alyssa, and I'm like, this isn't real, um, this isn't happening, I was kind of just looking at her like, Alyssa, like, why, why is everyone running, like, this is so stupid, and, um, you know, I went to hide somewhere, because that's where everyone was, and, I hid by myself under a table right across from the door trying to convince myself that this wasn't real and um, 20 seconds later I see like glass in front of me and I hear um, our door the window of our door break and um, Nicholas Crew starts shooting into my classroom and um, he shoots my best friend next to me, Alex Schachter, Elena Petty. And um, he leaves and he goes to two other classrooms. And then he comes back to mine. And he shoots some more kids. And um, a lot of people have been asking me, like, what were you feeling as you were just sitting there, like, next to people dying? Like, and to me, honestly... I really, I really believe that those are my last minutes of life. So I started kind of reflecting on my life and I started thinking like, you know, I was able to do things that I love and I was able to have a good family and I was kind of just sitting there praying and I was like, God, you know, I can't really believe so much in you right now because my best friend just died. But, um... You know, please, if you're there, please listen. Please don't kill me because I don't know. I just, I was just sitting there really, truly believing that I was about to die. And, you know, there are kids screaming and there's blood all over the floor, you know, going on me. And I look over and... Alyssa's right next to me, so I'm, like, right here, and she's right here, and I start, you know, seeing her bleed out, and I hear, I kept hearing more, more, more gunshots, like, it wouldn't stop, like, I, I really, truly believe that he was about to shoot the entire school, like, and when I'm saying this, I, I, I really mean it, like, the police weren't coming, I believe that, um, it, was, it felt like an out-of-body experience. It felt like my body was there and I was physically hiding in a classroom, but my mind was somewhere else. And my mind was at home or my mind was still doing the essay. Like, this was not happening. And I started biting my hands. I was like this. And I was like, kind of like going like this, like, like kind of trying to smack reality in my face and think that this isn't real. Like, I'm hallucinating something. Um, and I just kept hearing more and more gunshots. Like, I have friends on the second and third floors, and all I was, all I was thinking was how, like, who's going to be left? Which, which ones, which friends of mine are going to be left? Am I going to be the only one in the entire school? Um, and, um, you know, ten more minutes of gunshots, I would say. And, um, during this time, I kind of heard the shooter singing and stuff and saying weird things and at the time I thought that 
I thought that when people die, they start saying weird things because I've watched shows where that have happened. But I later came to realize that he was really saying things like, come out, come out wherever you are and different things. I mean, and another thing that I was questioning was who would do this? Like, who, like, first I was like, is this happening? And what is this? And then I was like, who would actually shoot up my school? And I was just sitting there. I was sitting there like this and kind of like, like shaking and, you know, biting and everything. And it was just so, again, it was an out of body experience. Um, and then the SWAT team comes. So he, we were the first room he shot. And um, his bag was actually outside my room. And um, so the SWAT team, the door was already shot through, but he didn't actually come into my class. He shot from the window. So the SWAT team puts their hand and, you know, unlocks the door and opens it for them. And um, they come in and they're like, if, if you're able to run, if you're able to walk and get up, then go run. And the police officers are with us and they walked us over to the end of the street and um I was just sitting there looking around to me and I was I was kind of just like like that like I did not believe that I just saw my friends dying in my class and I cannot believe that I just was in the middle of a mass murder and, and I couldn't believe that this was real life and after that you know I I I tell everyone, and I go, Alyssa, Alyssa, Alyssa just died. Someone needs to go in and help all the kids. Someone needs to go, because I didn't see any paramedics. I just saw SWAT team, and they weren't going to help kids. You know, they were there to find the shooter. They weren't there to give blood to Alyssa. They weren't there to help Alex. They weren't able to give anyone CPR. They were there to find the shooter, and nobody was there to help the kids who were dying. Um, I later saw the paramedics, but... I doubt they actually went in and that's how a lot of people died because they bled out, you know, they, they didn't have time. I was the first classroom, Melissa didn't have time. By the time that he moved on to the next classroom, she already passed away, okay? This, I mean, just now I'm, I'm, I'm saying it and I cannot believe that I really, that I went through this. I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, um... After I found, after I went across the street, I was looking over my classmates and everything, and then we crossed another street, the intersection, and I found um, my teacher, and I looked at her, and she told me it was a drill, and she said, um, the acting people did this, and I said, what do you mean, like, um, someone just shot her room, I saw Alyssa die, I saw everything, she said, I don't know. My mind is is playing with me. I don't know what's real and I don't know what's fake. And at that moment, I knew that this was real. I knew that this was real. And I, 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 I questioned myself for a second. I said, maybe it is fake. Maybe I'm hallucinating. But it wasn't. This really happened. And I look over and there's police cars all over. I, nobody could get past. And there were just more kids coming. And all of them were like, 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 what? Like, what just happened? Um, so then I find my, um, I find my mom's best friend, and she takes me to my mom, who is actually at her house, because it's so close to the school, and you could walk, and at this time, you can't get anywhere. Like, everyone was just tra sitting in traffic, because, you know, the roads were blocked, so it was just a shooting. And, um, I went, and I saw my mom, and I told her everything, and, I saw my sister and I saw my friends and it was like I was talking but I I couldn't feel anything you know like I checked the news and I I wrote a poem and I said I, I ran home and checked the news how could you do this Nick Cruz I look at all the damage on the news and I think how could someone do this how could someone shoot my classmates and I find out that 17 people died 17 people died I mean like it's it's crazy these 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 kids they they were so young they were so 
ready to start the rest of their lives and the teachers who risked their lives for our, for our, for us. I mean, they risked their lives for us and they, and they died. And it, it, it just, I have so much anger. Here I am March 17th, over a month from the event and I'm still in shock. I cannot believe that I was there and that I saw this and that someone actually did this to my school in Parkland. And, you know, all we can do now is fight for change and hope that nobody has to experience this. Nobody else has to die. Nobody else has to be a victim of a school shooting. And from the bottom of my heart, I don't want anyone to have to see the things that I saw. I don't want anyone to ever have to go through that because what I saw in that classroom, I... I I don't want anyone to have to see it. I really, really don't. And um, that's my story. And now I'm, I'm just reliving it every single day. Every single day it comes back to me. And, um, you know, my community has really gotten together. And I think it's so beautiful. And I love every single person who's fighting for change because I really think that's what our country needs. We do not want your thoughts and prayers. We really, really don't. We have enough of that amongst us. We want you guys to fight for the change that every single kid in America, every single person, not just schools, this happens everywhere, that everyone deserves. So um, thank you for watching my story, and I hope it gave you an idea of what that day was like for me. Um, thank you for watching.